All right, there's one of those little piezo elements, and I have it hooked up to my pros kit capacitance meter on the 200 nanofarad range. And uh, now let's see if I can do this with one hand. So depending on how good my contact is and how much pressure I'm pressing down, I get anywhere between 35 and 40 nanofarads for the capacitance value of that little piezo element there. All right, so uh, so now what I've got over here is I've disconnected the piezo element uh, on the end there and instead of the piezo element I've substituted in 50 nanofarads of capacitance this is two 100 nanofarad caps in series there and uh, so it's, a, it's just exactly in the circuit where the piezo was the piezo is out now and we have the current monitoring resistor and the uh, input voltage probe and the input from the function generator here and here, the other end of the non-inductive current viewing resistor in its Kelvin probe configuration and no input LED and the output LED there. Okay, and so the behavior as far as waveforms goes is almost exactly, well, exactly the same. As I increase the frequency and we get close to that resonant point, I get the brilliant red LED, just as before, and when we get to the point where the coil starts to provide considerable reactance, we get the distortion in the wave shape and the dropping down from the 10 volts peak to peak at the lower frequency. You can see how the, the, current, uh, the current here is now at uh, 50 millivolts per division and that's correct. In the last video I had, uh, I had the probe on the wrong attenuation so the uh, numbers that I quote for current in the last video should be uh, divided by 10. All right, so here we actually have 50 millivolts per division. We're on the 1x side of the, of the thing there, okay? Um, and 10 volts peak to peak here, 5 volts per division. So as I go up in frequency, you can see that the current value rises until we get to that point right in there where we really get the dropping in the output voltage and starting to see the distorted wave shape. And that's where we get the brilliant pass through there. And then here's that same little double humped peak. That's all of this is looking just exactly the same as uh, what we had when we had the piezo in there. Okay. Thank you for watching.